But an ancient samurai would fall on his sword if he were to time warp to modern Tokyo. Tetsuro Azuma, hairstylist to Tokyo's hip and happening. Clients come to his tiny salon from all over Japan, happily paying out hundreds of dollars for the latest do. It's, it's a bit expensive, but I think for the money, the technique is very good. It's perfect. Not the image for a martial arts expert? Think again, for this mild-mannered hairdresser shuns the trendy Tokyo nightclubs and explores a different world, karate. Tonight, Tetsuro has a special treat for his clients. They've joined him at a class with his master, or sensei, Marisan. Tetsuro acts as a guide on the floor to Marisan's direction. He allows others to spar with this seventh degree black belt. Even in Japan, it's hard to find a black belt master at a higher level. Marisan was once national champion in Japan and practiced his art six hours a day, seven days a week. Now, he simply loves to share all he knows with his students. He's got a good balance. He tells us uh, that the battle is not with the opponent. The battle is, uh, the battle's within ourselves. And, uh, it takes a special determination to, uh, to keep it up. Australian Matt Reed is only a green belt, but is keen to improve. He believes karate is a great way to stretch his mind and his body. It's very, very different from when I was studying back home, even though when I was studying back home I had a, a Japanese master. But uh, over here, the, uh, as you can see, the, uh, the ambience is different. You know, yeah. You're studying here in the home country. It's, it's totally different. Karate's roots began centuries ago in the southern Japanese island of Okinawa, where Chinese settlers and Japanese natives combined to create, literally, China hand. This term was modified to empty hand. Karate's use of hands, feet, knees, and elbows to immobilize an opponent became famous in the 1920s. A European boxing champ challenged any comers to knock him down. Only one man took up the challenge, a 51-year-old karate teacher. He knocked the much younger boxer out in one go. Every part of the body is considered a weapon, and if you add the right amount of power at a high speed, it's a deadly repertoire. The point of this martial art is to basically